I found a saddle in the nether, which means I can finally ride my horse. But this area isn't safe to ride over with all the lava and caves. I'm not scared. So I want to create a beautiful home for the horses. Also because they moved into my chicken pen and the chickens don't like it. I'll just leave you here for now until I finish your home. These open plains will be perfect for this. And thanks to my new diamond shovel, I can flatten this land really fast. First I made a huge square, hoping this will be big enough for what I had planned. I hadn't planned how much dirt I actually needed to make this. I kept having to go to random spots and destroy them because I didn't have enough. And the last few blocks, and done. Can't believe I spent an hour on this. I just realized how big this project is gonna be, and that scares me more than 100 ender dragons. But we have a lovely flat area now. Let's ignore that this is freaking huge! I'm also gonna spam some torches so the monsters stay away. I'm not scared. I just have to figure out how to connect this area to the rest of my base. There's this huge cave right in the way of where I want to put a path. Maybe I could make a bridge over it instead of covering it up. Let's get some spruce wood for this. I think it's gonna start right here, and then I'll make this four blocks wide. I tried all sorts of different things like placing azalea leaves on the sides or making a trapdoor railing, but nothing really worked out. I'm just gonna go with this simple little bridge. Okay, I'm getting really distracted here, but what if I cover up the openings of the caves and then flood the entire hole with water? Well, these guys don't seem happy about this idea. And the bunny is having its time of life in the window. Okay, it's decided. Let's get the buckets. Okay, okay, one quick battle with you guys, but then you leave me alone, okay? Let's start at the bottom and create water sources layer by layer. Guys, guess what? It's raining again! Yay! Oh come on you guys are here again? Maybe if I teach them a lesson they will leave me alone. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, this is fine. I have milk. Thank you, cows. But hey, the pool is done. All it needs is a bit of bone meal, so it grows seagrass. And maybe a couple fish. This will be the sacred salmon pond now. And I had another idea to detail this bridge a bit. I don't know if I like this better or not, but I will call it done now. I got really sidetracked by this project. Okay, now back to the flat land. I want to build a castle for my horses. Yeah, this is really happening. I'm so excited. I'll just empty my inventory really quick because now I'm gonna go mining for the castle. I'm not gonna go to deep slate level though because I need stone and with my new silk touch pick, I can finally pick it up. This level is also perfect for finding iron and hopefully coal because I just wasted it all on torches because I was scared of the dark. I mean, I'm not scared. Oh look, it's iron. Guys, how can it be that every time I go mining, I find a monster dungeon? I don't want to know what other weird stuff crawls under my base. Let's check this out then. I hate spiders, I hate spiders, I hate spiders, I just want the chests. What? A saddle! Guys, I went to the scary nether because I couldn't find a saddle in the overworld. Couldn't I find this like sooner? Let me deal with these big spiders before I get the other chest. Oh, so gross. Ew, the other one is right above me. I'm really no fan of big spiders with thick legs. Ugh. Ooh, a name tag. I don't have one of those yet. But hey, I've always wanted to eat moldy chest bread in a spider dungeon. Gross. I got so much good stuff in these mines. I don't know why I got such a crazy amount of copper though. If you have any idea for what to do with this, let me know. The only thing I can think of is a spyglass. I see you, horse. And now I can craft all this stone up into bricks. I also need a ton of wood for this project like spruce and oak. But not with this old axe, it's all slow and boring, yuck. Please, dear enchanting table, give me something fast. That's exactly what I wanted. This table really knows me well. I guess now this whole forest has to go. I have a lot of oak wood now and every single tree in the forest is gone. Except this one. I kind of like this big tree next to my house. Let's see if I can improve it a bit. I'm gonna get rid of all the leaves so I can work with the branches. I'm gonna detail them with slabs and fences. I ended up with something like this. And then I'll just start adding the leaves again. And now it also has a cute round bench around it. And some hanging lanterns in the branches. Yeah, this is pretty. And now the path to the bridge can go past this tree. Did I just get distracted with decorating my base again? I need to get back to work and replant the entire forest and then get more resources. Now back to the castle. I wanted to have four towers made of oak wood. And I'm gonna strip it with my stinky old iron axe. 
And then in between should be enough space for the whole stables. Yeah, and every side is space for three stables, except here on this side because this will be an entrance for the middle of the castle. We have a lot to do, so let's start building up the tower's eight more blocks. Do you want to know how many stone axes I broke stripping all this wood? I'm sure you don't want to know, but it was five. RIP all my stone. And then on top of the oak wood, I'm gonna make a nice tower roof. It's gonna be made of deep slate, but I'm gonna use spruce first, so the transition from oak to deep slate is very smooth. Oh my gosh, I just said something smart. I didn't think that day would come. Okay, those bees have some serious problems over there. You guys do realize I removed the flowers that were there, right? Okay, they're crazy. Let's leave them to it. Yay, more towers. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm talking the entire time. Shut up, Sev. Shut up. Because the towers look a bit plain, I'm gonna add some windows. And of course, using my favorite glass color. And then more spruce decorations around it. And for the second window, I'm gonna use a little build trick. I'm gonna place an open fence gate here and then a campfire on top and get rid of the burny burny hot hot flames. And now we have a cute window overhang. I also ended up changing the tower roofs a bit by making it one block shorter and I think it looks much better. Now more windows. But four lonely towers don't make a castle yet, so I'm gonna connect them. Which means I finally get to make the horse stables. I'll build up the pillars first. And then more spruce decoration. I never know what to call this, so it's just spruce decoration. I'm sorry, I can't English. Inside the stable, I'll put some coarse dirt and fence gates so the horses don't escape. You know guys, just in case you're wondering, this is not horse poop I'm spreading here in the stables. This is very clean, organic dirt. Let's do the test, not the poop test. The test if the horse fits in the stable. Come on, my horse. Yeah, they can go in. It's a bit small, but they will get a lot of free time outside. Yeah, that's a beautiful row of stables right there. It's the same process on the other two sides, so you don't need to see it. I definitely did it. Or did I? Just kidding, it's all here. And then, of course, the entrance in the front. I will make an open gate here. I'm just gonna bring the bricks across and then connect it to the other side. Then stairs in the corners for a nice smooth curve. And then some wall windows where you can't look through because there's a wall behind it, but they're so adorable, right? I think they're cute. I also added some more spruce blocks to nicely frame the entrance. Now let's add a deep slide roof on top matching the deep slide tower roofs. This is gonna be made of stairs though, and it was hard at first to make it fit with the entrance being a different length than the rest. But I worked it out by placing a spruce lock over the entrance roof. Now let's address the biggest issue with this build. The gate doesn't lead anywhere. It's just an empty room with no roof. Why did I do this? I did some underwater thinking and I got the perfect idea. This will be the saddle room and armory. For horse armor, not human armor. Wait, am I human? I'm gonna store some hay bales in here for the horses and then a couple chests and in there I can put some snacks for them like apples, carrots and wheat. Then on this side I can display my horse armor in item frames. This is such a pretty room now, I'm so happy I made this. I can take my horses here to saddle up and select the perfect armor for them. I just heard a thunder. Can this be our first thunderstorm? Yes, I can sleep, that means it's a thunderstorm. And you know what spawns in a thunderstorm? Many scary mobs. Go away, zombie! I survived the thunderstorm and the worst thing is that it didn't spawn skeleton horses. This would have been so perfect. I'm sad. I want to make some cool riding gear now so I feel better. Sorry, cows. Okay, now we have leather riding helmets. And I also just realized I can craft leather horse armor and dye it pink. This is so exciting. Now I have this cool colored horse armor. Look how cute my horse looks. And my cow pen is suddenly very empty. But that has nothing to do with the leather, I swear. Let's make a lot of stone shovels because I want to lay out a huge path all around these stables. and spread some coarse dirt here and there, and a bit of grass. Yeah, perfect. And because I am a scared coward, I need extra security around these stables, so I'm gonna add this really cute fence all around it. I think this is the perfect countryside fence for horse stables. I just realized I have no horses for my stable, except this one. I have a lot of wild horses roaming around my base, so I'm gonna tame them. Okay, this one is going crazy, what the heck? I'm looking for horses that either have a lot of hearts or are good at running or jump really high. 
so I have a horse for every occasion. And of course I want all the different colors. This is the fastest horse I've ever seen. I'm gonna keep them. There's a horse hiding in my creepy forest. Please no creeper, please no creeper. Come with me to the safe plains, come on. You won't believe how crazy this horse is until I show you. It jumps three blocks high. This one is a legend. What the heck? This hill is full of horses. What is going on? It's kind of creepy. Okay, okay. This horse can jump four blocks high. Four. What? I found two donkeys on this hill and these guys are perfect for transporting things. I can put a chest on them and then store all my junk there like my stone shovels. I couldn't find a white horse anywhere and I really wanted one. So I went back all the way to the village where I traveled to before to look for one. Oh my gosh, and they are here and it's more than one. I will take them all and I'm gonna pull them home with me like this. But while I'm near the jungle, I should pick up some bamboo because I forgot last time because I'm a moron. I haven't found bamboo, but I found this ruined portal thing. Let's check the chest. Ooh, golden apple is nice. And I'm gonna take the gold up here, but I can't see any bamboo in this jungle. Maybe if I go this way, I can find another jungle. Warm biomes are often close together. Hey, there's one, that was right. And there's bamboo, perfect. This is so scary, so I'll just grab a few bamboo and replant it at home. But wait a second, these jungles have birds, many birds. Look over there, it's like he's waiting to be adopted and loved forever. Take the seeds, come on, please. Love me, please, burp, please, please, yes. Okay, follow me, burp. Oh wait, where did he go? Oh my gosh, he sits on my shoulder. As you can tell, I have a slight bird obsession. Okay, let's find the horses and take everyone home. Wait, can I keep the parrot on my shoulder while I ride the horse? Oh my gosh, it works, what the heck? This is the coolest game ever, I love Minecraft so much. And then traveling with all the horses is just the funniest thing ever. And I can see the cute horse castle over there. I can't believe finding cute horses turned into a two hour adventure. I'll put the parrot in my house. I don't think the bunnies will hurt him, right? Right? I sorted the horses by their abilities, like the fast ones here, the high jumpers over here, and on this side are the cute donkeys. I left this one here empty for any other special horses I might find. I made some signs so I can put the names of the horses on the stables. And I asked you guys for some cute name suggestions and I chose a couple that match the horses. This one is Blaze, the first horse I met in episode 1 and he instantly set himself on fire on my lava camp. This is the only good blaze in this world. And this guy here is Oreo. But guys, he's not for eating. Don't you dare touch this horse. And then for this one, I came up with the name Lightning McQueen because he's the fastest horse I've ever seen. He's a race car. And then the donkeys here will be Bongo and Biscuit. So cute. This horse is slow, but a high jumper. So I name him Slowpoke. And then I have Amadeus and Sabrina. These are named after two very famous horses. There is still a lot of space around the stables left, so I thought I can make a horse race course here. I'm gonna get a ton of leaves for that. I'll just shave those trees. Okay, that sounds really weird. This many should be enough, right? I'm gonna fix this stone ground here first though and replace it with dirt. I also tried to shape the hill a bit nicer so it doesn't look like a hill I destroyed for dirt, which it totally is. I also added some pillars to this bridge and I think now it looks so much better. Now let's put those leaves to good use. I want to create a huge hedge around the area, but I want it to look fancy and made by people like in those classy rich people horse races. Yep, this is a symmetrical hedge, very Minecraft-like, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a square. Then I want the starting point to be on the right here. I'll make a little wooden gate here, something really cute and simple. And I'll go through this area with my stone shovels and create a rough path all around. Nothing fancy to walk on, more like stinky poopy ground trampled by horses. Let's add some horse dung. Just kidding, this is a very serious horse race course which I'm taking very serious. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Now I can race my horse around this place, but that is too easy. I'm going to make some obstacles the horse has to jump over. And because I'm an idiot, I want to use nether blocks for that. I need nether brick and quartz. Let's put on the gold. Hey kitty cat portal, please bless us with your protection. Also make me fireproof and while you're at it, I want chocolate chip cookies and a bubble tea. One moment of peace in the safe house. <sighs> I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Okay, get the bricks. Very nice horse race bricks. And some quartz. I'm getting scared here. Okay, done. Let's leave this stinky place. I'm gonna make some nether brick slabs and also some quartz slabs. I want at least one or two obstacles on each side. Let's make an easy one here first. Yeah, this looks cute and even I can jump over it. I added another one here, which is really hard, at least for me. And I really have to move this bee away. It's still going crazy on the path here. Sorry bee, you'll be a balloon from now on. Then on this side, I want to make a water pit the horse has to jump over. 
swimming pool time. I miss summer, guys. Then over here, a head jump, which has a hidden water pool behind it. Okay, I made all the obstacles. Now we do a fun horse race. But which one should we pick? I know, I'm gonna go for Amadeus. He jumps four blocks high. Let's select the pretty horse armor too. I'll go for purple. And that means I can wear a matching riding helmet. Yes! Okay, let's see if this works. Let's go. Okay, coming up on the first jump. Okay, okay, and jump. Yes. And the pool. Now the head jump. Yes, I didn't land in the pool. And the last one. And I'll just have to make it to the end. Yes! That was so fun! This was so great! And now I have a beautiful castle full of really talented and cute horses all done in Minecraft Hardcore. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye!